ad hoc means for this specific need or purpose. A need is common to all living things. Only men have higher purposes, but these needs and purposes are normally frustrated by the great time and energy expended in their realization. A purpose immediately fulfilled is the ideal of ad hocism. It cuts through the usual delays caused by specialization, bureaucracy and hierarchical organization. Today, we are immersed in forces and ideas that hinder the fulfillment of human purposes. Large corporations standardize and limit our choice. Philosophies of behaviorism condition people to deny their potential freedom. Modern architecture becomes the convention for good taste and an excuse to deny the plurality of actual needs. But a new mode of direct action is emerging, the rebirth of a democratic mode and style where everyone can create his personal environment out of impersonal subsystems, whether they are new or old, modern or antique. By realizing his immediate needs, by combining ad hoc parts, the individual creates, sustains and transcends himself. Shaping the local environment towards desired ends is a key to mental health. The present environment, blank and unresponsive, is a key to idiocy and brainwashing. Adochism is the art of living and doing things ad hoc. Tackling problems at once, using the materials at hand, rather than waiting for the perfect moment or proper approach. As a principle of design, it begins with everyday improvisations, such as bottles for candle holders and tractor seats on wheels for dining chairs. Adochism undermines the approved method and preordained result in virtually every realm of human activity, from play to architecture, city planning and political revolutions. Adochism is not only an informative and witty book, but an ultimately humane one.